overshadows the political tensions in South Africa. More laws are being passed to control opposition to the National Party. The anti-apartheid Black Sash organization is one of the few brave enough to stand up against separate development. Of course, Noel is there. Give me a break, Noel. Fine. You cut off other oh. oh. Ow. Do you know this Andre's really the end? I, I don't know why I bothered to come in. He's also rude to me. He calls me names. Hello. Last time he called me fat. He's even oh. once called me a drag queen. God, he should talk. <sighs> Hello, a valuable. No, darling, I'm precious. Oh my god. Are you going to a party? You know, Andre might be a bitch, but he knows what to do with my hair. Do you know, in Seapoint, I had such a career. He used to frizz my hair, freak me out, blow my mind, and rip me off all for under 40 rand. Welcome to Joburg, Mrs. Fine. A hundred and forty rand. Oh, I can't believe it. I'll never get used to this Johannesburg. I mean, the pace of life, the expense, the standard of living, the cost, and the cheek of the... Look, I don't mind self-confidence, but it's all this touching, this familiarity, this matter of fact, hello, darling, kissy, kissy, not for me, not for me. Is that being? I'll have to get used to just being here as a refugee from the Cape, hey? It is being. Be! Be! No, well, fine. Ah, oh, I can't believe it! <laughs> oh, careful the hair. Oh, me too, me too. Oh, God, you look divine! 300 rand. Oh, you lie. Hair, nails, lips. And tits. Same old tits. <laughs> ah, coffee. Decaf. Ah, put this on my bowl for next week. <laughs> I'm so glad you got rid of that frizz. Oh, Same time like next week, week Noel. No, no, well, it's good. Drag queen. Disgusting. Gross. Sis, I would never be able to eat cake like that. Nor no, would I. <laughs> Lovey, two chocky cakes. No cream. Tons of cream. You can't keep on looking younger than me. I am younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> Muzzle top. <laughs> so you're still married to Herbert? Mm. And you? I saw a husband in my bed last week. I think he's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so why the makeover? And my cousin Brian's getting married. Muzzle top, Brian. Is he still banned? He is now only allowed in a room with one person at a time. Now, how does that work? If it is only legal to be in the room with one person at a time, then surely in a place like this, it would be just me and you and no waiter. No waiter, no cake, no cream. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Absolutely Lovely. Fine. Thank you. What a lot of stupid cuck. Oh, no, well, you know about these things. Well, I mean, the Black Sash is very verbal with their sarcasm. I only recently joined the Black Sash. Herbert would kill me if he found out. Oh, by the way, Herbert's doing so well with his construction company. Who's building? As far as I can see, everybody's leaving. Herbert got the contract to build a million toilets. A million toilets? Mm -hmm. In a million houses? No, just the toilets. Well, it's a government contract. Very, very confidential. Very lucrative. You know, Deputy Minister Bartenhorst. No, look, it's too complicated. I can't explain. But Herbert is doing very well. Well, I'm impressed. If they can't have homes, give them loose. They can wash their hair in the flushing water and piss behind the sand dunes. <laughs> Listen, I'm also faced with a ridiculous thing this afternoon. I don't know how Herbert's going to handle it. You've got a lover. Uh -uh. No, well, I've known you for years. Don't you have? Look at you. The hair, the outfit, the jewelry. 
You look like you're expecting to be the belle of his ball. I should be so lucky. <laughs> no, this is all for the black sash demonstration in Jan Oh, so you're in fancy dress. Yeah. But listen, I thought that those demos weren't allowed anymore. If you demonstrate on your own with your placard, then it's okay. The moment there are two of you demonstrating, then it's illegal. Oh, no, well, you're going to get blown to pieces by the wind and the rain and the passing parade. B, I must look good. I swear to God, I am committed. I know it's dangerous, something terrible can happen to me. But I want people to drive past me standing there and see me with my placard and they say, look at that gorgeous South African liberal. She really cares. 300 rand. 140 rand. Mm. Ah, but does she care enough? <laughs> Oi, am I plutzing? Let me tell you, I'm absolutely finished. You know, I've tried everything to stay regular. Home remedies, friends' advice, and even Grand's mystery potion. But nothing solved my problem. Then I started eating Kellogg's High Fiber Bran every day. It's high in natural fiber to keep me regular and feeling great. That's why in just two weeks, my body feels great. <laughs> Kellogg's High Fiber Bran. You should try it for two weeks. You'll feel so great, you'll love it forever. Kijk net wat het ons hier. Ja, pretty lady, hè? Eh? All alone, hè? Eh? Helemaal alleen en niet verkeer. Ja, yeah, maybe she's going to a funeral, hè? Eh? Check, mate, she's wearing a black sash. Ach, shame. I wonder who died. Hey, maybe it's her garden boy, hè? Eh? You know, the one she's been pumping. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, just, just these poor white liberals, hey. Uh, they don't get it from their husbands, so what do they do? They go out, they get a thrill by breaking the law, hey? Well, we'll just have to protect this lady from the reality of being a suspected communist subversive. Yeah. Maybe you should arrest her, eh? What do you scheme, Jan? Detention without trial. Is that what's about any? Yeah. Check out all this makeup, man. You look like a valuable oil painting, man, lady. We can hang you on the wall at the station like an original. Yeah, he's on our arrest. I can't believe what's happening. This is an absolute nightmare. I can just imagine the headlines tomorrow. No one find arrested for... God, for what? Holding up a piece of cardboard, standing up for the rights of the underdog. Vomit on me and you're dead, okay? No one find arrested for anti-apartheid. It was at exactly this spot in downtown Johannesburg that veteran anti-apartheid activist and doyen of the struggle, Noel Fine, was arrested earlier today for displaying a banned poster demanding an end to detention without trial. Minister of Police, Mr. Louis Lechrancy, said that Mrs. Fine had been arrested for being in contravention of the ban on illegal gatherings. Nobel Peace Prize for anti-apartheid activities. Yes, yes. Oh, 
from New York. Here it comes. Now listen to me, lady. Don't try something funny, eh? Listen, I won't hang myself by my pantyhose if that's what you mean. Yet. Now where's the ladies' pound room? Excuse me. Oh. Oh no. I've got to get ready before the world press arrives. I swear to God, I am not going to look drek on a million t-shirts. That's for sure. Ah, right. Wish me luck. I'm ready for my place in history. Come, come, come. Now, don't touch me or manhandle me because I bruise. I can't bruise. Do I get a chance to phone my lawyer? Oi, oi. Hey, hey, sit down and wait your turn. This is my turn. I demand to see my lawyer. Do you know who I am? Moses, just give me a chart sheet. The stewardess doesn't know who she is. And whatever I'm being charged for, let me just warn you that I'm protected by the Geneva Convention and the Warsaw Concerta Convention. Look, I know this is all political. You don't have to pretend. Just be very, very careful. I can make you two famous in a very horrible way. Remember Simon Bika? Steve. Hey? Steve Biko, not Simon. Okay. <clears throat> no, well. What kind of a name is that? I was born on Christmas Day. You're Jewish? Yes, but we have the best of both worlds. Okay, how old are you? That's got nothing to do with you. Well, if you don't tell me, I'm going to make it up. 52. Rubbish! 41. 46. All that cuck on your face makes you look older. Why do you wear so much makeup? Do you think men like it? I like it. And it's very expensive makeup. Oh, I wouldn't pay for that cuck. <laughs> Just gets in the bed sheets. Excuse me? Moses? No, if you wait for the sergeant, this is an open and shut case. No, no, you are not going to just, just push this thing under the desk and forget it. I demand my rights. I demand his rights. You're a black man. Look at the uniform you're wearing. Doesn't make you feel guilty. How can you work for the enemy? Because the enemy pays well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Noel, girlie. Let's get that sexy who's ass of you on that chair. Until the sergeant gets here. You can't do that to me. This is police brutality. How dare you? I'm a political detainee. Really? Yes. I was wrongfully arrested for standing up for the rights of the oppressed. Well, not according to this chart sheet. You've been arrested for prostitution. Hmm? A whore. Dora, where the hell is madam? She went to the hairdresser this morning. And she said she was going to visit some sick people. What sick people, Dora? I have the deputy minister here. I need my wife to help to entertain them. I don't know, Master. Well, just keep the children quiet and out of the way. This is a very important meeting, Dora. Do you understand me? Yes, Master. The deputy minister. Hey, Dora. Can't you make a regular protest? Eh, we. It means I feel a bit there. I'm an Indian who's learned to shame you, Madam Man. Why any minister in Lindy? Uchole, yes, Anglican. The cabinet minister, the national party. Hi. If you red poison. Sister. Oh, I don't believe it. What is this country coming to? What is this country coming to? It's become a police state. A police state, rape and rape and escape. terrible experience for you. Oh, please, let me be your friend. Go on, give me your hand. Oh, my God, look at the size of this hand. What do you nuns do when you're not on your knees? I'm a mechanic in a garage. Oh, sister, you're a man. Shh, don't let them know. I've seen those films about what happens to people like me in a place like this. As true as God, I would never have known. Although, you know, I know many women with bigger hands than yours, and they're real women. I keep these hidden here. Oh, really? Oh, sister, you make it until you have it. Of course, Nelly. You don't go to a gay party and drag as a nun and wear anything underneath. I've always been dying to know what happens at those parties. 
you know, many of my friends are. Maybe I know some of them. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, give me a few names. Well, Andre my hairdresser. Bitch. That's him. Um, Gavin Bellows. The actor. Had him. Ah, oh, Philip Shields. Oh, drives a Lamborghini. The surgeon. Had her. What are you in here for? You won't believe it. Prostitution. How did you know? Sweetheart, look at you. I'm arrested at the party for being in drag. I'm surprised they didn't lock you up in solitary. Mary, you look like a man. Oh, fuck off. <clears throat> I am a political detainee. Shh, I'm with a black sash. Oh, shame. I pass you people in the streets with your posters. You look so sad with your black sashes and your face is like funeral attendants. Well, my dear, being anti-apartheid is a very serious business. Why is that black horse staring at me? Why are we in the same cell? Aren't we supposed to have separate immunities? Um, Mary, apartheid is not what it used to be. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Apartheid is alive and well. There. Does that make you feel better? It's the end of my family. It'll ruin my husband, you know. I'll be the laughing stock of the country. I'll be thrown out of the PFP, out of the Black Sash, out of the 100 Club. Your husband doesn't have to find out. Hey? Don't you have a best friend? Oh, yeah, Beryl, Sylvia, B. No, I don't. Your gynae? <laughs> I wouldn't trust him about the belt. Who do you trust? Dora. Oi, am I not entitled to at least one phone call? Excuse me. You're a man, but this is going to put you on the map, Scott. No one can say that we in the National Party don't look after our people, even those that don't pay taxes and sponge off the fat of the land. It seems we are well prepared. We are well prepared. Not only for the influx of blacks from the rural to the urban areas. Fistica squatters. Yes. And no. Yes and no. Yes and, and no. Yes, they are squatters. No, they are not. <laughs> oh, yes. Excuse me. Hello? Hello. Noel. Hello. 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 Yes. Master, could I please talk to Dora? You can't just phone here. This is a private house. I must talk. To Dora. I'm sorry. It's another damn phone call for the maid. <laughs> phone tomorrow. It's very important. It's a matter of death, master. Her mother is dead. Dora? Phone. This won't take long. Hello? Hello, Dora. Listen, it's madam. Don't let on it's me. Pretend I'm your family. Pretend your mother is dead. But my mother is dead. My mother is dead. I'm at the Parkview Police Station. Police Station? You've got to come and bail me out, Dora. Oh, my poor mother. No, shut up, Dora. Go upstairs and open the drawer of my desk. Bring my checkbook, Dora. How do I get there? Take the shopping master, for God's sake. I can't drive. God, your maids are so bloody unreliable. Lindani can drive. Who the hell is Lindawi? No, God in Nimrod. Well, then let him drop it. Oh, please be subtle, Dora. Master Hibbert must not find out. Do you understand? And hurry up, Dora. Oh, my mother. Oh, my poor mother. Ooh. It was a very long phone call, but I'm sure maybe uh, you'll accept a check. Well, not personally, but uh, you can make it out of the SAP. Or maybe you can just add it onto my phone. Okay, Mrs. Fine. Hey. Fine. 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 <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
Double four two one. Deputy Minister still in conference, reporting car theft in um, Forrester. Blue Mazda three two three. Black woman. Fat black man. Heading in direction of uh, Zoo Lake. We think a pleasant yak. You can't do it. No, no, no. Oh, man. But you need to stop street. Hey, man. Just stop street, Leslie. I'm so nice as a soul, man. It's as a mean. Can you manage? But that's not going to ride. I'm 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 not going to break free. Insist on Vortex unleaded. The performance enhancing fuel that gives you maximum power and performance. Better acceleration and enhanced drivability. Vortex unleaded from Caltex. The AA approved leader in petrol technology. Shield has made an antiperspirant especially designed to keep me dry. And I'm going to prove it to you. Shield for Women regulates your perspiration to reduce wetness. You can trust it to keep you dry 24 hours a day. In fact, you'd have to go a long way to beat the dryness of Shield for Women. Keeps you dry 24 hours a day. Don't you have a decent mirror in this room? Well, there is a toilet. Huh. I'm not going to go into a small confined space with you. I want to be out in the open where everyone can see. I like you, Noah. Keep your distance or I'll scream. I think we should meet someday. Over your dead body, doll. I wouldn't like this to end up in the wrong hands. Oh, no, not that. Oh, please, please. Look, look, it'll destroy my family. I'll, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll keep your coming. Oh, you're bribing a police officer. No, no, I'll, I'll, all right. I'll meet you for coffee. <laughs> no. no, I'm not a rubbish. You're a smart lady and not in my class. And I don't blackmail people. Yeah. Oh, thank you. How much do you want? It's all right. Hey? Just stare it up and throw it away. Caught them. Tora. Madam. She's our madam. They stole the car. It's madam's shopping car. A blue madam. Of course, it's madam's car. Stolen from Forest Town. Look, I can explain everything. This is my maid, Dora. Who's brought me my checkbook? Oh, we don't take checks. It's okay, it's a special case. Oh, thank you, Marius. But this man has no license. Nonsense. You can drive, can't you, Nimrod? No, madam. We must talk. You have a license, don't you, Nimrod? <laughs> it's in the post, madam. Driving without a license. Here's the check. Oh, Dora, find my lipstick in here, please. This suspect cannot leave the station. Hey, we are not suspects. We belong to her. How can you use the word belong after everything I have taught you, Dora? People do not belong to each other. People are free. And especially here, they are loving and they are caring people. Don't move your head, Marius. You know, I can't think straight until I've seen a real mouth. Now, look after my staff very nicely, and I'll come back tomorrow morning and see to their fines or their bail or whatever. It's only three forms in triplicate, it's okay. I knew I could depend on you. And if you really look after Nimrod and Dora, I'll get some of my prominent liberal friends to vote for the National Party at the next election. I can. <laughs> right, now, Dora, Nimrod, no, don't even say anything. This is very, very important. I know what I'm doing. It's part of the story. Now, just stay here tonight. These policemen will look after both of you, and I'll be here to fetch you tomorrow. But, madam, 
Jail, madam. Oh, don't look so surprised, Nimrod. You don't have a driving license, doll. There are laws of the land to comply with, hey? Otherwise, we'll have anarchy. Isn't that so, officer? Okay, bye. Goodbye, Mr. Byrne. Be my witness. You see, she left the bag in my hand. I didn't steal it. You see, they we move all these lot over there, and then I think we take those lot and we move them over here. Ah, <laughs> Deputy Minister Bardenhorst. Oh, Mrs. Bardenhorst, Herbert. Where have you been? Oh, you just don't want to know. Oh, isn't this exciting? <gasps> Deputy Minister Bardenhorst, we are looking at the future, and it works. Until the blacks break it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a little nice. <laughs> and what is this in Zulu? Lipstick. A lipstick. Oh. <laughs> and powder? A powder. Oh, you gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. 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 G